In a previous video, an Arduino-based spectrum analyzer was demonstrated displaying spectrum on an OLED screen. In this video, another Arduino spectrum analyzer will be demonstrated displaying spectrum on ST7920 LCD display. The ST7920 can display alphabets, numbers, and user-defined characters. It can be interfaced to a microcontroller either in parallel using 4 bits or 8 bits or interfaced in serial using SPI connection. In this video, the ST7920 is interfaced with the Arduino using SPI connections where the slave select is connected to pin D4 the master output slave input is connected to D5 and the serial clock is connected to D6 and the analog input signal is fed through A0 now for a quick demonstration we apply a square wave to the analog input A0 and observe the spectrum on the spectrum analyzer it should be a sync function with the main lobe centered at the frequency of the square wave. Notice how the main lobe moves as we change the frequency of the square wave. Let's have a look at the program used in this project. The program was written by Mirko Pavliski. A link to his tutorial will be provided in the video description. We need to include these two libraries, one for the uh, LCD display and the other to support uh, fixed point uh, fast Fourier transformation. Next we declare object LCD and connect the SPI lines coming from the LCD into the Arduino using digital pins 4, 5 and 6. Here we declare two character arrays to store the 128 samples, the real part and the imaginary part. Here we declare a, uh, an integer array to store the height of the spectral components. Inside the loop function, we use a for loop to get 128 samples through analog input A0 and save it into their respective uh, uh, arrays. And then we apply the 128 samples into this function fixed FFT. Now we have 128 uh, spectral components, both real and imaginary. The next step is to compute the magnitude of these spectral components. Notice the loop uh, only covers 64 samples due to the height resolution of the uh, LCD screen. The 64 magnitude spectral components are then sent to this function bar chart and inside the function and within a do while loop the spectral components are plotted along with the axes and labels. In a future video, the ST9720 LCD will be interfaced with the ESP32 microcontroller, which is programmed as a web server. The ST9720 will display on a screen several sensor measurements.